Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito again and this is my 16th tutorial on my lab app designer. Uh, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to um, edit values in a table and add rows and columns to a table. So after I released my tutorial, uh, tutorial 14, I got some comments asking how to edit tables and values uh, or add rows and columns to a existing table in MATLAB app designer. So I thought this was a good question and I thought probably a lot of people are trying to solve a similar problem. So this is the reason why I thought, you know what, I'll create a tutorial on this so that will be the best thing to do. So let's switch over to MATLAB app designer and here we have a table added in from the component library and a read.xls file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read these y and x values. So I just have y values going from 1 to 10 and the x is the y, y value squared. Okay, so we'll add a callback and we'll say t for table equals read table uh, we'll say it's book one and then we'll say it's sheet one. So I'll try and uh, quickly go through this because I've already shown you in this in tutorial 14 so switch back to that if you haven't seen this already. So I'm reading in the table using the read table function then I'm saying I want to show it on the table the data from sheet one in table. So this is apt dot UI table dot data equals t. So this is setting the data in t to the table. So let's run this. Okay, so when I click on this read.xls file, it reads in the data. Okay, so it's reading in all this data into the table. Now let's say I want to change this particular value and I want to change this to uh, 99 for example. So to do this, uh, what we have to do is add a line which says t uh, dot y brackets 1. So if you're wondering where this y is coming from, this y is the variable name that we have defined. And uh, if you're confused where, uh, why I have to define y, then uh, when we read in the data, the variable name is actually automatically assigned as y and x. Okay, so we're referring to column Y and the first element in Y, in column Y. Okay, so we want to set this to 99. Okay, so if we run this now, you won't see a change. Now, you would expect to see 99 here, but that's not happening because what you've defined is actually not getting updated. So what we have to do is move this down after the after assigning after changing the value of uh, element one in column Y to 99. So now that it's reading the table, it's changing the value, and then it's writing the data to the table. Okay. So if we run this now. you can see the value has changed to 99, okay? So the next thing I'm going to show you is um, how we can uh, add a new row to the table. So to add a new row, so what we can do is, again, you have to make sure uh, you make the change initially and then update the, uh, update the table. So we'll say we want a new row uh, we'll call it NR for new row and this time what we have to create is a cell array so a cell array is defined using curly brackets and we'll say because we have two columns we'll say we want the value 11 to be added and the value 11 squared to be added as a new row so you end that with a semicolon and so this is a cell array that we have created and you can notice, you, you can see I've uh, separated it with a space because it's this is the first value in row 11, column 1, and this is the second value, which is the x value, which is uh, y squared. Okay, so now what we need to do is concatenate the tables, which means we want to add these tables together. So this is a cell array that we're going to add to this 
table t okay so to do this we'll say in square brackets t semicolon n r so the reason why we do a semicolon is because we want it to be a new row okay so let's click run and do read xls and you can see a new row has been added so this is how you add a new row now let's say I want to add a new column so if we read so we have y values x values and let's say we want to add z values as well and we'll just make it very simple we'll say uh, we'll just change this to new column and this time we need to define 10 values we'll just say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 because we have 10 elements in the table uh, we need to define 10 uh, numbers for the new column okay so this time we'll get rid of the semicolon and we'll say this is NC for new column so what this means is you're adding a new column to this table so you're essentially adding this new uh, column to this table okay so if we click run and click on read xls it's saying we have an issue all tables in bracket expression must have the same number of rows okay so the reason why we're getting that error is because we so if we if we copy and paste this into MATLAB let's just switch over to MATLAB CLC we'll just clear this paste this in and get rid of the semicolon you'll see this is a row cell array okay we want it to be a column cell array so to do this what we can do is um, simply do the transpose and if we do the transpose and run this you'll see we can uh, we get three columns and we've added a new column on now if you don't want to do transpose if you want to waste some time or increase the length of the <laughs> code then you can just add semicolons after each number but transpose will do uh, will convert the row cell array into a column cell array so this is just a single quotation marks and it will transpose the cell array to a column okay so this is how you add a new row and a new column so in the next tutorial I'll still uh, focus on this but in the next tutorial what I'm going to introduce you to is something called properties in the code view if we click on this property it will allow us to add variables or attributes that we can use in different functions so in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create a table with uh, name age and height for example and every time uh, the you we have we'll, we'll have a text field where you can add in new names and then when you click a button then this name will be added to the table okay so I'll see you in the next one